Today I'm going to be talking about fatty liver disease. So fatty liver disease is a condition where fat, uh, just as the fat accumulates in like the areas of your arm or your belly, it accumulates in the liver and causes injury. If your child's overweight or obese, and they could determine that based on his height and weight, um, there's a few recommendations that your child be screened for certain conditions, and one of them is high blood pressure, so the other one is diabetes, um, make sure the lipids, like the cholesterol in the blood are okay, and the last one is um, fatty liver disease. Once there's elevation of the liver enzymes, then uh, your pediatrician will probably send you to someone like me who's a liver expert and takes care of children with liver disease. And what we usually do is we want to make sure that there's nothing else going on, that there's no other condition affecting the liver, but usually, if your child's overweight, um, if we get an ultrasound that shows uh, fat in the liver, then most likely your child has fatty liver disease. The good thing about fatty liver, unlike other conditions, is that if you lose weight, the process is reversible. And we don't expect you to lose weight quickly. We just want you to, first of all, stop gaining weight at the same rate that's been happening. And then second, over time, slowly lose weight or allow the child to grow into his or her weight. So you have to think about, is the lifestyle change, which is really, really hard, right? You wanna make sure that your child knows how to eat healthy and how to exercise. And usually it involves the whole family. It's gotta be a change of the whole family because it's really hard to have your child on a diet and you're eating a hamburger over here. That's not gonna work. So the most important thing is, it's gonna be the family. Everybody has to participate in this. And you know, we have specific recommendations on depending on the child, on their diet, and then exercise. The other thing is make sure that they have appropriate bedtimes. We know that sleep also interferes with eating habits and, and risk for obesity, so make sure they're sleeping. Children need a lot more sleep than we do, so probably eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. Um, the other thing is make sure they're drinking lots of water. You know, I'm okay with giving a kid a soda on a weekend if you're having pizza, you know, a party. But really their main drink should be water, lots of water. If you have any concern about your child's weight or some of the complications that might come with it, and some of them are not obvious, like we talked about the fatty liver, you can't see anything happening to their outside, um, please seek medical attention because the earlier you intervene in terms of diet and exercise, uh, the more likely that this is a process that um, a life Style change that they will be able to sustain for later on in life.